Friends, in the previous session, I introduced you to the agenda of this entire playlist and I spoke about RLC, the resistor, capacitor and inductor. In this session, we are going to learn a little more about than that and we are going to learn about diode and transistor. A diode, as usual, is a two terminal device and it has got cathode and anode. Cathode refers to the negative terminal, anode refers to the positive polarity. It is a device which will allow the current to flow typically in one direction. The cathode is always negative, remember it. Applications of the diode include very importantly the rectifiers. We have half wave rectifiers, full wave rectifiers and all these we have seen in our earlier stages of learning electrical and electronics engineering. Voltage regulators, signal modulators, oscillators, switches and many more applications are there fundamentally for the diodes. There are many types of diodes as you know the first one is PN junction diode. This is the symbol of PN junction diode. I am highlighting it right now. I am moving my mouse pointer over there. So it is used in the primarily in the LED applications where only when the PN junction is in the forward bias condition, the LED will glow. Very simple. Only when the PN junction is in the forward bias condition, the LED will glow. The next one is Zener diode where you can see that the symbol is drawn like this. It is used in the voltage regulation applications. Next one is tunnel diode. Tunnel diode is a high speed switch. It is used as a high speed switch and the tunneling effort, uh, the tunneling effect is there which will ensure the fastest operation even in the microwave region, microwave frequency region. So the major application for tunnel diode is in the speed, high speed switches requirements. Wherever high speed switches are required, we can go with tunnel diode. Laser diode is there and as the name specifies, it is very helpful in the fiber optic communication. Schottky diode is there and they are also called as barrier diodes. It is used as a mixer in the radio frequency applications. It is also referred as low voltage diode. We have seen five diodes here. PN junction, traditional. Zener diode, it is used in the voltage regulation. Tunnel diode, used as high speed switch. Laser diode, used in fiber optic operation and the CD and Blu-ray recording and reading. Schottky diode, they are called barrier diodes and they are also called as low voltage diodes. All these are important when you go to interview. They may ask you, mention at least five types of diodes. In that case, this will be certainly helpful. Now, what is an ideal diode? Very simple. If the diode offer zero resistance when forward biased and if it offers 100% resistance when reverse biased is called as ideal diode. Now, what is forward? What is reverse bias? That's the next question that we need to answer. If the polarity of the diode, you can see that if the polarity is in such a way that which means the plus connected to here and minus is connected to this way, which enables the electrons flow through the diode, then we call it forward biased. Only in this condition, the LED will glow. Now I'm changing the polarity here and in that case, the electrons would not flow and it will be restricted, hence the LED would not glow. So this is called as reverse bias condition. This is called forward bias condition. Very simple. If it offers zero resistance here and if it offers 100% resistance here for the flow, we call it ideal diode. This is a very important interview question. What is an ideal diode? Next, we need to learn about transistor. It is a must know component and without transistor, no IC is made these days. Not even, not only these days, even from the earliest of the days. It is a semiconductor device, three terminal device. It can be used as the amplifiers and switches and that's the best application that anybody can quote right away. Earlier transistors were all packed individually. Now this is becoming part of, embedded as part of many ICs right away. There are two types of transistors. The first one is NPN, the second one is PNP. Before we go deeper into it, we need to understand what are the three terminals of the transistor. Collector, base and emitter. What is collector? Before collector, it's better to learn emitter. The section that supplies the large section of majority charge carrier. The charge carrier is emitted here and that is called emitter. 
the emitter has emit uh, emitter has to emit something which means it has to supply something but there should be a collector to collect it so whoever collects it is called as the collector whatever the emitter gives should be collected and the collector does it in between layer is called as the base i have got two types of transistors npn transistor and pnp transistor the three terminals as i just explained they are collector base and emitter and see the symbols when the arrow goes towards the emitter i call it npn when the arrow comes in from the emitter i call it pnp npn versus pnp is again an important question npn transistor has got electrons as majority charge carriers where pnp transistor has got holes as majority carriers when it is uh, electrons dominant we call it npn when it is holes dominant we call it pnp which one would you prefer the interview question is obvious which transistor type would you prefer i will go with npn because mobility of the electrons is much faster than the holes so it is an obvious point that you should remember normally we call the transistor as bipolar transistor we call it bjt bipolar junction transistor why do we call it bipolar transistor action is initiated due to the movement of both electrons and holes and so it is called as bipolar is there anything called as unipolar yes field effect transistor is there it is unipolar what are all the major applications of transistor very simple transistor can be used as an amplifier transistor can be used as a switch transistor as an amplifier and switch is a very common question and we need to answer when it can function as an amplifier and when it can function as a switch when the transistor works in active region it will be an amplifier if the transistor works in cut off region or saturation region we call it switch very simple transistor as a switch and transistor as an amplifier is the most obvious application that any interviewer would expect you to know and in the next session we are going to learn about the fet and mosfet we have already covered the resistor the capacitor the inductor the transistor and the diode the next session will be more interesting with the fet and mosfet being covered clearly i have designed a new logo for my channel i hope you like it let me know your feedback on that thank you very much for following my channel consistently and continuously thank you